What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. And I'm back with another CHH today. And this, guys, this time, guys, excuse me. This time, I want to revisit the 2018 Rapzilla freshman list. And I want to see the notable names that I recognize to see how their year has been and and was rapzilla right as far as giving them the 2018 rapzilla freshman list and putting them on the list so we're just gonna go over a few of the candidates and see and know that i'm not having every, everybody on the list because a lot of people i didn't hear of and this year i didn't really recognize a, a c throughout chh so so out of 15 freshmen maybe about five or six that i'm highlighting today so we're gonna start with cj king CJ King released a few singles. Big single for 2018 was Overtime featuring Zanti. Three other singles for 2018 overall was a slow year. CJ King had the swerving track in 2016, I believe, 2017. And he was basically had the Humble Kings forever with Humble Tip. So his career was really going up, but this year it's been really slow. I've been looking at certain SoundCloud clicks and also his, his Spotify, his Apple Music. Haven't really, and also YouTube, haven't really seen a whole lot of activity from cj king i've seen a lot of activity from him as far as twitter but maybe the frustrations from him as far as the chh you know in the whole industry has been because because of his lack of just overall activity so i rate his year probably a slow year uh, as far as this year uh maybe next year in 2019 he could turn it on and really get things jump started again Another person that I was very impressed with was Drew Beck. Drew Beck released a new LP in God's Good Time. Dropped three more singles this year towards the end of the year. He was dropping singles consistently. I'm talking about this man in God's Good Time. Made it on my top 10 Christian hip-hop albums of the year. Now we'll give you that list later on this year because I'm still tweaking it. But... Drew Beck had a great year, had a really great album. And also, people, and also, people, he's been consistent. I'm talking about this man's been grinding. He's been on every single thing. I've been seeing his name everywhere. He is signed with Role Model Records, and he's also a Canadian. That doesn't make any, <laughs> doesn't, I don't care whether or not he's a Canadian, but he's had a good year, people. You have to check out the album. My overall his year for me was a great year it was a really great year for drew beck he is on the come up and 2019 should be a great year for drew beck if he continues this this pace as far as being consistent dropping music and everything else we're gonna go to rockstar jt he dropped his mixtape street signed me early this year drop just dropped the single the block is hot featuring kid tris been consistently dropping music, getting more CHH press, like way old radio show, Jim the Height, Track Stars. My overall estimation for Rockstar JT, he has had an awesome year because he didn't just stop with the Street Sign Me mixtape series. He kept grinding, kept grinding, kept grinding, kept dropping singles, has a pretty hot single with Kid Tris. He's also been, he did a really, really heartfelt interview with DJ Wado. And if you make it to DJ Wado in the Christian hip hop sphere, you are pretty much, I wouldn't say mainstream in Christian hip hop, but people know who you are. So if Rockstar JT continue to be who he is and continue to make music for the streets and continue to be consistent, man, I think 2019 is going to be an excellent, excellent year for Rockstar JT. So he had a really good year this year. Third Saga. This name on the list, I think Rapzilla kind of reached. They had two people that I thought they kind of reached. They had Fameless which is a producer. He does make music as well. And they also had Third Saga. Third Saga is a battle rapper. He doesn't really make music like that. I was trying to find out what music did he make in 2018. I only could see three songs that he made from his Rapzilla, not Rapzilla, excuse me, his SoundCloud page. So he's more than a battle rapper. I think that on the battle rap scene, he had a really good year with the Four Horsemen. They supposed to come out with some music. I pray that the Four Horsemen does. You know who the Four Horsemen is? It's, uh, it's uh, A Ward, Loso, Street Hymns, and it's uh, Third Saga. So 
once they come up with some music, I think that I can have a better feeling for Third Saga. He's a great, talented person as far as an, uh, as far as a battle rapper, but I don't know anything about him as far as an artist. He had a few good songs. Uh, not really good songs. He had a few songs. So hopefully next year will be a better year. He had a really slow year as far as rapping has been concerned. He's been on the battle rap scene and been killing on there, but the rap scene, kind of slow. Toby Nwigwi. Man, he has his first tour from the SWAT. It's a four city tour that he has like his headlighting himself. He's been dropping consistently, man. If you don't know, he's been doing these Get Twisted Sundays, I think, for the past two and a half years. Uh, he just dropped an EP earlier, and he has been on the BT Cypher. He's been the Sway in the Morning Fire Cypher. His local areas behind him. He's getting a mad buzz online. I'm talking about from Facebook, from, from from YouTube. This brother right here has been blowing slam up. Man, he's been blowing slam up. So my evaluation of Toby Nowicki, he's been on fire. Man, this man's been on fire. He's continuing to consistently drop music and he's building on his success. So, I think 2019, 2018 was a breakout year for Toby Nwigwi as far as him being known in the national media. If he continues to be consistent, I think that he's going to have a a step, another stepping stone in his career for 2018. So, Toby Nwigwi, man, has had an awesome year. What up, RG? That's the next person I'm going to say. He dropped Pleasant Hill EP, the middle of the year. Only released like two other singles after the EP. I see him more doing... I see him more on Twitter than kind of doing shows. You know, I looked at the uh, Reach Record site as far as who's being booked. Haven't seen What Up RG booked that much. And the lack of music I felt was kind of weird because he dropped the EP early this year and hasn't really been seen like that. So what is my estimation for What Up RG, even though he signed the Reach Records early this year, even though that he had that momentum going in with Pleasant Hill, I think that after Pleasant Hill, he's kind of, cool down he kind of slowed down this year so kind of need to see a little bit more for what up rg next year being signed to reach records um i thought pleasant hill was okay uh but that's just me so he had a pretty slow year this year zanti 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 i'm coming up with a video to friday about what 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 happened to zanti you know um so he was the 2018 freshman list so after god taught me which was a really big single that he had. I think one of his first songs, and also Joyful, which was a song that I like personally myself. It blew up in 2017. Zante only had two singles dropping this year, and he had some features that he been, he's been on. He's been on a, a few features. So I think that he capitalized on the God Taught Me and the Joyful tracks and been getting these features in. So I think other than the features, he had a really slow year this year. I think that, and I would go into this more with just why i think that he kind of kind of fell off but i think that i think that zanti does have a, a single that's out that's 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 doing okay but it for me when you have bit records like joyful and and god taught me you, you want to see a little bit more so he had a really slow year this year so hopefully in 2019 he can he can just uh make a comeback as far as just him putting out really dope music man so what i thought about the rapzilla's freshman list i thought they uh, you know they hit on about six of them you know like i said they they do these lists based off the previous year so a lot of these artists had really good 2017 so they was on this year so uh, you know it's maybe like four about four or five about four artists that was really consistent really grinding so i think that i'm excited to see what 2008 eight, 19 excuse me brains to the list and also i'm just excited to see what rapzilla's you know who they have on their radar so I need you to comment below. Let me know what you think about the freshman list. I'm going to have the whole freshman list down at the description below so you can go back and look at the 2018 freshman list and see who all that, that if I miss somebody, just let me know. Please let me know. So, again, please check out my podcast, the Lucky Mary podcast. I release one every single Friday. Also, join the CHH Today Facebook fam. That's where we get in. That's where we get it in outside of YouTube. And also, 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 I am on every morning from 7 to 9. The morning Vibes with Miguel on Radio UNT. Please check that out. That will be in the link below, man. I, man, hey, you got to grind before you can shine. But again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, 
the educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray back with another CHH Day and A. Hey, check out that EP Fearless that I just dropped, man. I forgot about that before. I, yeah. So, until next time, people.